Welcome to the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 in Japan. This is the K1 Featherweight World Tournament at the Fukuoka Kokusai Center. I'm Russell Goodall. And I am Nicholas Pettis. So this is the K1 Featherweight uh, World Tournament and the first fight, uh, this is the quarterfinal. Uh, Shuhei Kumura versus Jao Soya I saw Dejavan. So, uh, Kumura, brother mm. of Masashi. Mm. Uh, He's the older yeah, brother. Yes, older brothers. Yeah. And uh, impressive uh, uh, Jao Soyai. He's got 71 wins, obviously from uh, Thailand, and a nice 22 KO record there. Let's see. He's actually the 2019 finalist. Yeah. And he's also had a fight against Ozawa Kaito and beaten him. In, in the featherweight, yeah. So and, and he was 18 back then. In the finalist, he was only 18 years old. Now he's 20? He's, he's still just 20. Yeah, there he is. Just 20 years old with just, 71 wins. Chao Soyai. We want, when you want to look at him and see what happens against this fight uh, versus yeah. Kumura. I mean, but in, in Muay Thai, that's, that's quite, you know, no, that kind of fight. Yeah, fight. yeah, you, 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 you so round one. is actually considered a little bit old. In really? Yeah. <laughs> He's like a veteran. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. And I, I like how the Muay Thai guys always seem to be super relaxed, oh, Ooh, unless yeah. when they do that, yeah. I love the way Shuhei actually kicks. He's just got a really stable, like, you know, uh, groundwork. Mm. If you say it like that, he's got a like, really nice, long reach. Both the yeah, that, that, kicks. that kick he just showed, like, yeah, the high kick was nice, straight. You know, he's like a, I would call it like a gentleman style of fighting. Mm. Keeping it super clean, letting his hands and feet do all the talking, instead of getting in there and getting all dirty. Yeah, like, whoa. A bit of aerial work there from uh, oh, so big high. shot. So Kumura's five centimeters uh, taller. Obviously, Joe Sawyer is trying that uh, jump, the kick. Yeah. D do you do you feel? Can you see that height difference? And you can see the height difference, mm. sure. But I mean, it's not you know hindering uh, right. the chop on it at all. Right. So it feels pretty comfortable there. But this is what again, once again, I'm saying the Shuhei is like long reach. Mm -hmm. uh, he really like has a great jab. He keeps his techniques clean. He doesn't like you know mess up his combinations sure, sure. and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it, it's very pleasing to watch him fight. Right, right. Plus, I also don't think that he wants to get in too close to uh, the Muay Thai fighter here. Yeah, because that could get really messy really fast. Because mm. there's a lot of action there in the Muay Thai style. Yeah, I mean the thing about K1 is this is like the distance that you, if you want to be a good K1 fighter mm. uh, according to the rules and everything, this is kind of where you want to be at. Yeah. And in this distance also, you know, Shuhei is going to be feeling more comfortable because he's got that longer reach. So tell me a little bit about this featherweight world tournament. Because if you win this world tournament, you're not going to get a belt. You don't become the world champion in this. You've world. asked the question, Nick. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So there is no bout as such, because uh, uh, we'll see Taito Gunji later on, maybe in, in the same day. He Who has actually the belt. has the belt. Who right? has the belt. So this is kind of like a, ooh, what would you call it, a champion of the champion? So it's a, they'll get a trophy at the end of the day, whoever wins the tournament. So it's what, like a, a Champions League? Yeah, in, in a way it's like that, which you have, I guess, in football. But I feel like football. the diversity of all the fighters here, this could be a World Championship fight. It is, yeah, it's got World. Oh! <laughs> and as we talk about it, oh my God. What a beautiful okay. shot. Nice. So, yeah, Joel Sawyer is, did stand up quite quickly, oh, man. but it was a nice oh, down. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nice way to end uh, round one there by uh, Shuhei Kumura. I told you, mm. his style is so clean mm. and beautiful and he's in the right distance. Calculated. He wants to stay out there so that he can throw those long straight shots. It's beautiful. And they will long, we might get, even get to see a replay. It's almost textbook fighting style, I gotta say. Like a lot of people, they, they, they strive to do that, but they yeah. don't get there. Mm. But man, he's only 25. Yeah. And he's mastered it. Look at that. It's cool. And this, we might see a oh, bang. Hey. Nice. To the neck there. Uh, <laughs> down goes uh, Jal Soyai. Uh, that's just beautiful. There we see it from a different angle. Ooh. Okay. No motion. No yeah. free motion. No nothing. Look, his foot just bang. goes up. Yeah. And connects. That is like absolutely like, beautiful. Like a hook on his neck there. Boom. 
Mm. Yeah, so but so cool. he's right in there. In, oh man, don't make okay, me so like, break that down because there's so much going on there. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay. I don't think you can teach that. That's like a feeling. Yeah. No. Right. It's, it's an instinct. Yeah. Mm. To, and, to just know, <laughs> like from thousands of thousands of kicks all over the place, and, and pads and everything. It's like it's just right there, and now and, he's just taking advantage of it again. Yeah, he starts it off with a kick nonstop right there. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, More yeah. kicks and a jump kick. Yeah, he wow. just wants to finish the fight. I can tell. Nice round two. Could be very short. But this is where the Muay Thai fighters are actually a super uh, like like toughened up and like resilient. Yeah. Yeah, resilient. Yeah. Oh, nice kick there to the body. You see? Yeah. I mean, when you've had that many fights, and that's probably not including his Muay Thai fights. No, these is this is Muay Thai fight record. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so that I was a down. I don't think that was a down, to be honest. Okay. No, that okay. was a slip for me. Okay. But they are counting, right? So yeah. it is. Uh, judges have considered a down. Joe Soyai wants to do something here in round two. Oh. Hey. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. He did hurt. Yes. There you go. When I was this uh, quarterfinal first fight here, and that's pretty much featherweight. Two knockdowns is considered a knockdown. Yep. So. Looking happy Unless there. It's a championship fight where it's a three knockdown, then this is it. Yes. So. Shuhei Kumura moves up into the tournament. Fight his next opponent. But that's actually two knockdowns in the same round. Yeah. You yeah. can get knocked down in the first round mm -hmm. and then not get knocked down. Ah. Or you get knocked down in three different rounds once each, and mm. you know, it's still not considered a KO. Yeah. But this is. Oh, that that kick. was the first that one. Kick. Nice. It's just yeah. Peter Arts. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> that's all I see. Like that Love timing that. is so Peter Arts. Nice. Sure. It's like those those kicks. He's probably practiced for literally thousands of times. As you said, that that instant. It's just boom. It's yeah. It's instinct. It, I guarantee he nice didn't. Punch. He didn't think about it. He just let his foot go, and then the foot just connected where it should. Beautiful. So, Kumasan will get the KO bonus. I want to get a KO. Yeah. We all need bonuses. <laughs> Good. He's, he looks. He looks relaxed and ready for the for the next as he goes up the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. That was great. That was a really good fight. So he's gonna go into the second round of this eight-man tournament. Yes. So he's gonna fight the winner between Taito Gunji and Fuka Suarez. Let's we'll see what. That's gonna be fun. How must that feel, knowing that you're actually not gonna get the belt, even if you win? Mm. Yeah, it's like. I mean, come on, everyone wants the belt, let's it, be honest. It, yeah, let's be honest. I mean, when, and when he was winning, but that's, um, yeah, we're going to see more of uh, a, a Chuhei Kumura later on. Great to see this, so this is the K1 featherweight world tournament. And that was the quarterfinal. Thank you for watching. This was Russell Guru. And I'm Nicholas Pettis.